Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to do a demonstration of my idea of fluid painting. I've been practicing for a few weeks now and I have about 14 little paintings. Hopefully I'm going to do a big one soon. But a couple of things you need to have to create fluid paintings is the, of course, the acrylic paint, Floetrol, which makes the paint flow nice and uh, gets rid of bubbles and uh, brush and roller marks. And then treadmill oil. Treadmill oil is a lubricant and it acts as an oil to create the cells. The cells are little oil bubbles in the paint that when they pop, the colors underneath come to the surface and they create those beautiful um, designs. Here is one that I did uh, the other day. And as you see in the yellow, you'll see the red pop through. In the turquoise, you'll see the green and the yellow pop through. And these are where when the bubbles popped, the undercolor came through. So this is kind of a neat one that I did. I really like this one. And so today what I'm gonna do, or now is I'm going to um, show you how to mix the color. All the rest of the colors I have done, but I left this one to show you. And you have a little bit of paint. And then with my Floetrol, I'm just gonna do 50-50. So it's one part Floetrol, one part paint. You mix that up. Add a little water. Just to get it to look like melted ice cream is how they, they have seen. I've been watching a lot of videos and that's what they say. Then I'm gonna add a couple of drops. You don't need a lot of this. Just a couple of drops of lubricant and you just give it a little twirl now i'm going to do what's called a um dirty cup flip pour i believe that's what it's called dirty cup flip pour um i've been watching a couple of people online Anne marie ridderhoff and saskia smith they're into some really big stuff which i will get to eventually but this is how that that i've been taught how to do this so here we go right now then we're just going to put all the colors into here and it depends on what you want on the bottom to that will end up on the top so whatever color you put on the bottom will end up on the top this one I already mixed everything in it so I'm going to now just add colors and I'm just going to pour them into the cup and you pour them haphazardly, uh, you know, in, in different different amounts, um, different layers. I'm going to do all kinds of colors. I just picked a whole bunch of colors. Don't know if they're going to work right, but we'll see. So right now, I'm just loading this little cup with some color. And this one actually will take less than three ounces, um, but I'm going to almost probably do just a little smaller than than the uh, cup itself. So just a little less than the cup itself. I mean, which I think these are three ounce cups. On a ten by ten, you're supposed to use about three ounces of paint. Now, some people have put um, a layer of paint on top of here. When it's a canvas like this, I kind of, being a painter, I kind of like the painterly line. So, uh, I, you know, you find the little uh, indents of the canvas. So I'm going to leave it um, as is. And then uh, just see how, what happens. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our cup. We're going to lift our canvas and we're going to put it on top. Then we're just going to flip. Now we're just going to leave it there for a minute. And what that does, it allows the paint to come down from the top, flow down into or onto the, um, the canvas. So let's see what happens. 
Give it a couple more seconds. Okay, so what you do is you can move it around before lifting it, or you can just lift it, or you can you do all kinds of things. So I'm going to move it, lift a little, move it, lift a little, and then lift it all up. Okay, holy moly, look at that. Now the other thing you need is a torch. This is a creme brulee torch, and you're just going to fire it. And what happens is if you fire this right now, it'll bring out some of the cells because it'll start puffing those little bubbles. You're going to let that sit for a minute, sort of let the colors meld into each other. And then we're going to start tilting the canvas to make that move around. All right, here we go. Boy, oh, that's kind of cool. You do it slowly, and uh, just so you don't lose all the colors. And it will go off the side, that's fine. That's kind of cool. And it's just sort of moving around or moving down, I'm trying to get it to move down this way. Mm. Some very interesting stuff happening here. Kind of liking it. I'm just moving it, moving it. It's just going to touch, touch the corner. There. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just make sure my sides are covered because um, we don't need to um, put frames on these if we don't want to. So if you got the sides covered, you don't have to, because of course you're, not, you're hiding the sides through the paint. All right, let's see. Let's check my other sides. Oh, I can put some of that on there. Ooh. Good, good. All right. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. All right. All the sides are covered. There we go. I like that one. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is use my uh, torch and see if we can bring some more of these cells out. And of course, that, let me show you and get that close. The cells are those teeny little holes. In, like They look like little teeny bubbles in the paint. There's some underneath those. The ones you can see are the ones that have already come to the surface. There's some underneath those. What we're trying to do is bring those out too. So let's see. Now this will take two or three days to dry because it has the oils in it. And uh, so you just set it aside. Boy, that's I like that. That's kind of nice. Okay, so there we go. This is a five by seven. Multicolored. Beautiful cells. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so hold on one second. 
and um, I'll take you around my studio if I can do this. I'm gonna jog. Okay. So here's the piece that we just did. That's really cool. Look at those cells. Isn't that amazing? Now we used what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. But they just do some beautiful things together. All right, so I'm going to swing around behind me. And um, excuse the mess. This place is a mess. Here's a few things that I did. This is one I did today. A little feather. There's another feather. Yeah, I kind of like these. I'm having a lot of fun doing these. I really am. And then I have a few more. Hang on. Over here. These are the black and white ones I was doing today. There's the black and white. There's a black and pink and white. These are a couple of the other ones. You saw these if you were looking at my Facebook and here's one over here. I absolutely love this. Now, unfortunately, this one cracked. See the cracks along there? This one cracked. So that's because it was a little heavy uh, in the paint. So I've got to watch that. But hey, I'm learning. And here's one more coming up. Here's one I did of black and white with some blue nice all right well that's it for today um i'm going back over here to my to my piece boy those are some strong colors all right guys hope you enjoyed it talk to you soon